Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm back with another awesome recipe for thicker, longer and healthier hair. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make this amazing high growth oil that will help get your hair nice and thick, healthy and strong, which is definitely all of, of the things that you need in order to have hair on your head right um so you definitely want to keep watching this video and i suggest you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any useful information now it contains three main ingredients um so not too complicated and definitely pretty easy to make um, so let's hop into the video now if you're uh, returning thank you so much for your love and support i do love and appreciate you and if you're new here please click that subscribe button to join the family now the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe would be some amla powder now amla powder is extremely beneficial for high growth because it helps to strengthen the scalp and hair it reduces premature growing it stimulates hair growth reduces hair loss, prevents and treats dandruff or perhaps dry scalp and also treats you know um, scalp infections such as lice infection so really really good to have in your regimen now I use about two tablespoons of that now I'm going to go in next with half a cup of my favorite oil of all times olive oil guys I love love olive oil so I'm using extra virgin olive oil here um, so if you are to use olive oil as well I would suggest that you do use the extra virgin one because it still has all of its nutrients in it now feel free to use any other oil of your choice it could be um, perhaps grapeseed oil or avocado oil or any other oil that you've got available I just love this in my hair regimen and yeah I just keep on using it so that's half a cup that's going in there but feel free to use more guys if you want to I usually make just the quantities that will be sufficient for just one use um, but you can make more and store if you like now I'm going to go in next also with a bit of coconut oil so I'm using about a tablespoon of that uh, but again like I said guys please alter these quantities based on your preference so I'm just popping that in there now I'm going to go ahead and just stir that um just to somewhat get sort of everything nice and combined now i will be going in next with my um other ingredient so the one that i will be using here guys is called spirulina i don't know whether i'm pronouncing this right but you can sort of see it here right um so spirulina is very very good for promoting hair growth also and combat you know hair problems like thinning hair and baldness now it contains lots of amino acids so it's quite high in protein and we know protein forms the core of our hair and essentially this is what you know keeps your hair strands sort or of nice and strong and it's definitely worth sort of having both in your diet and also you know as a treatment so i used about a tablespoon of that guys and then i'm going ahead here and just doing the double boiler method um just so i can extract all of the goodness in this now after i finished doing that i just took that off the stove and i'm just allowing it to cool now i'm going to go ahead and strain it now to strain it guys i'm using just paper towel here you know regular paper towel that you've got in your kitchen because i do not have a coffee uh what's that called uh what's that called again is it like a coffee strainer um i don't have that but if you're a coffee drinker and you do have you know coffee I i'm sure it's not called coffee strainer it's definitely called something else let me know your comment section down below but you kind of know what i mean right if you make lots of coffees in your home you would have this coffee thingy um so you can use that to strain this but i don't have it so i'm using just the regular tea towel tea towel paper towel um, that I've got in my kitchen now if you want to use paper towel guys please make sure your paper towel is nice and thick and strong um, this one here just happens to be that and it as you can see it's not breaking right so that's what you want so this is what it looks like after it's been strained so all of the powder pretty much stayed behind in the paper towel so I just dispose of that and this is what my oil looks like I love that greenish sort of color that it has it's just full of amazing nutrients that our hair will definitely benefit from. Now, I'm going to go in next here and add some extra stuff that I would recommend you do as well. But it's not compulsory, guys. If you don't have these oils, please feel free not to use it. Um, so I'm using my essential oils here. 
definitely worth having in your regimen essential oils just help you know improve blood circulation to your scalp and essentially um, helps to nourish your follicles and promote you know healthy hair growth now if you've been watching me for a long time you know i use the same type of essential oils because i just think they're extremely beneficial so they are peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil here i often use rosemary as well but i don't have it so i just use what i have now don't ask me how many drops i've added to this because these bottles don't drop properly you know so i just pretty much eyeball it but add as much or as little as you like so i'm just throwing that in making sure everything is nice and combined and that's it all done so i'm just going to transfer it to this bottle applicator bottle so that i can use it to um you know apply to my hair just to make it a bit easy to apply pretty much um so that's sort of pretty much it definitely keep on watching guys because i'm going to show you in this next part how to use it and also how to uh, perhaps maximize you know your results um if you are going to use this so it's quite important that you do watch till the end of the video okay lovely so we're sort of ready to apply this to our hair so i'm starting on pretty much dirty hair i don't know if you guys can notice my hair has lost its shine it's lost you know the darkness that it normally has so at the moment it looks a bit sort of brown brownish dirtyish um so yeah i'm pretty much due a wash day so i will be using this oil here pretty much as a hot oil treatment um, before I go ahead and wash my hair it's been a little while since I did a hot oil treatment and I just wanted to um, to do it and if you are going to do hot oil treatments guys it's very important that you use good ingredients in your oil or nourishing oils that as you're leaving it in your hair that is actually nourishing your follicles and helping with you know hair growth I just thought I'll take a few seconds just to show you these beautiful earrings, guys. You've probably seen it in my previous video. They're from Ana Luisa. Now, I love, love, love the jewelries. And yeah, so essentially, that's pretty much what I wear nowadays. Now, the link to this particular one will be in my description box and also, you know, the link to their website. They are doing a 20%, you know, uh, sale off the entire website. So, you do want to check them out. Um, so I'm just sort of applying the oil here to my scalp now this applicator bottle is definitely pretty nice and easy and simple to use it just makes it so much easier for me so essentially I'm just not parting my hair here guys I'm just applying you know as I see fit to apply really um, so you want to go ahead and apply it to your scalp if you want to go ahead and part your hair I was just too lazy to do that um, but even though I didn't really like part my hair, I still managed to get all of my scalp, you know, covered with this oil. Now, it would be much easier if you parted your hair, guys. So please go ahead and part your hair and just make sure you apply it really well. So I'm just distrib distributing the oil here quite generously on my scalp. Um, and just sort of gently massaging just to make sure it's nice nicely sort of distributed now I'm also sort of going here on my edges don't forget your edges guys it does need that bit of love because you know it's the sometimes it, for most of us it's the weakest part of our hair to be honest um, and that's what tend, tends to break a lot more so definitely apply to your edges as well make sure it's nice and covered massage that in now I'm also going to go in here and apply it to my ends. Now if you're doing a hot oil treatment, you do want to make sure your whole hair is covered, okay? So from your scalp all the way to your ends um, because, you know, you want to sort of protect them and also nourish, you know, every single bit of your hair, right? Um, so yeah, so essentially just to say you don't necessarily have to use this oil as a hot oil treatment. You can use it as a hair growth oil simply by just, you know, incorporating into your routine and massaging that to your scalp and leaving that in. You don't need to go ahead and wash it out just like I did here. 
um or just like i'm going to do here so you can just use it as a hair growth oil perhaps twice or three times a week now if you if you want to to use it to regrow perhaps your edges you can just massage that to that area as frequently as possible just so you can reap you know the benefits or if you want to just grow your hair with that in general again you can massage that to your scalp on a regular basis now scalp massages as i always emphasize on guys are very very important because they do help with you know increasing the blood flow to your scalp and essentially causing more nutrients to reach your follicles um, which in turn helps with hair growth so if you are to use any type of hair growth oil always remember to also massage as you are sort of doing that now at this point i had finished using the oil just like i said before guys i usually make just the quantity that would be enough for my hair for one use um but yeah this oil if you are to use it as a you know hair growth oil you don't necessarily have to use a whole thing just like i did here but it's because i wanted a whole oil treatment so I'm just going ahead here and massaging my scalp, just like you can see here. Uh, be quite generous with your fingers, you know, massage. If you've got a scalp massaging brush, that's even better. I don't have one, so I'm just using my fingers here. So at this point, you can see my whole hair was coated in this oil. It was actually felt really, really nice. Um, so I just thought I would just show you basically what my hair looks like. Um, so yeah there you have it after you know we've applied the oil now i'm just going to go ahead and just do a couple of twists and put on you know a heat cap and allow it to sit in my hair overnight now you don't have to let this sit in your hair overnight guys i was just too lazy to wash my hair after i finished recording uh, just because i was just too tired so i went to sleep with this and this is the next day so i went ahead and shampooed my hair and also used a little bit of conditioner and this is what it looks like afterwards i just love how it turned out very nice and soft and dark that's just how i like my hair and also my hair felt really nice and strong um which is really really good the amla powder and the spirulina uh, powder do help with thickness and also hair strength so definitely with um you know adding to your regimen so this is it for me today guys i do hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit your notification bell so you know next time i post a new video and i'll catch you in my next one bye